Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and I am one of the contributing editors over at Buck Riot. Now I'm someone who normally doesn't read a lot of short story collections. I have picked up and put down a lot of collections. I have a really hard time getting into them and then also a really hard time completing them. I feel like just in general, unless a book has sort of like an overarching narrative structure or storyline that I can follow, I have a tendency to just not finish those books. However, there are a couple of books or a couple of short story collections that I love so much that I actually finished them. So these are four short story collections for people who don't necessarily like short story collections. The first recommendation that I have is Unaccustomed Earth by Jhumpa Lahiri. Now Jhumpa Lahiri has another short story collection called Interpreter of Maladies which actually won the Pulitzer Prize but personally I actually like this collection a lot more. I think there's a lot more emotion in this collection of stories. Every single story in here feels extremely complete. I swear that the first time I read this collection I cried after like every single story because she just does such a great job of conveying emotion and conveying sadness and loss and separation and just oh I know everyone talks about interpreter of maladies because it won the Pulitzer but when I'm recommending Jhumpa Lahiri to people I actually say that this is my preferred short story collection from her because I think it is actually significantly stronger the next collection is how to breathe underwater by Julie Oringer Oringer not really sure exactly how to pronounce that. This is a collection of short stories that would probably be classified as young adult. I don't know if it is officially classified as young adult, but you are reading nine different stories about different just teenagers as they're growing up and dealing with different things. I picked it up kind of on a whim after one of my friends said that she really enjoyed this collection and I was just so surprised by how taken I was with the different stories. There are a couple in here that are just absolutely phenomenal and I think this is a short story collection that isn't really talked about very much or could use significantly more hype because it's so so strong and I think the fact that it is young adult focused is another unique thing that it brings to the table because I feel like at least personally I don't really see a lot of young adult short story collections so if you're someone who likes young adult novels and you want to try some short story then this might be the collection for you next I have Almost Famous Women by Megan Mayhew Bergman this is a short story collection that a lot of people at Book Riot have been raving about since it came out this collection follows a bunch of different almost famous women as the title implies and Megan Mayhew Bergman just writes these fictionalized stories of what she imagines their lives were like. I was so surprised by how much I was taken with this novel. I think it's just because Megan Mayhew Bergman found these like really interesting people and decided to tell stories about their lives and because these are such rich characters that really drew me into all the different stories and of course just like every collection there are some stories in here that I loved more than others but there wasn't really a point in here where I was ever feeling bored which is something that happens a lot to me with short story collections there's usually a lot of like weaker stories in the mix that I'm never really in love with and that's usually what causes me to put the book down but in this one I love just every single story about every single woman in here and the final recommendation that I have is The Women of Brewster Place by Gloria Naylor I don't know if this is officially categorized as a short story collection but it's basically structured like a short story collection with a narrative thread that goes throughout the whole thing as the title suggests you are following these different women who live on Brewster Place they are all sort of these lower class black women and the great thing about this book is that all of these women are so unique and so deeply defined and they all have such a wide range of characteristics to them that you never feel like it's being repetitive or you know it's following tropes or anything like that it's just all such strong complex deep rich stories about these women and it's just so so great because they all live on um, Brewster Place you do see the characters show up in each other's stories and there is sort of like a conclusion that happens at the end of this so that's why I say it's kind of a short story collection but kind of not so this actually might be really great if you are someone who doesn't really like short story collections because there is sort of a thread that you see by the end of the book you see all these different connections that are happening between the characters and you see a way that it all sort of wraps up together which is really nice. So yeah those are my four recommendations of short story collections if you don't normally like short story collections. In the comments down below let me know what you guys think if you've read any of these or if you have any of your own recommendations about short story collections particularly if you are also like me and you don't really like short story collections normally. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!